This is model 3 and the Magbots and it's going to be designed after the iRobot design that they have where they have a flipper set of tracks that comes out. This is the initial mock-up. Now this is by no means anywhere near what this final design is going to look like. I've literally been working on this for just a few minutes. But this is the this is the basic concept. This inner track right here would be the main set of tracks. This outer set of tracks right here is going to be the flipper track. Now I'm just looking to see exactly how close we can get these tracks without them actually touching. And the design concept is going to be to have this gear lift this outer track so you can see this would be the main track this is the flipper track and when you want to come up it should come up like that being driven by a small gear here with a servo or either a servo indirectly driven something like that but this is just the initial mock-up and who knows what it's really going to look like. Here we are after uh, a couple hours work and we are pretty much have a good concept of how this is going to work. As you can see we have one servo right here. This servo is going to drive this gear which in turn drives this fixed gear. This fixed gear is attached to the frame member right here and when it turns it lifts up the flipper gear and then as it comes back into its primary configuration pretty simple straightforward nothing fancy the problems that I had in the initial mock-up and what I have right now is the placement of the servo here as you can see this flipper track and the main track flipper tracks a little bit narrower main track I had to whiten I had two options actually I had three the first one is I placed the the servo right here inside the C channel Okay, this kept me nice low center of gravity, but it widened the main frame. The second option I had was to take the servo and place it outside of the C channel. However, when I did that, it would raise the center of gravity. I would have to use the road wheels, mount the road wheels somewhere along here so that it, the track would clear the servo and then I had the problem of the tracks being symmetrical so if I mounted a road wheel on this side I had to mount a road wheel on this side just kept adding more and more weight and more complexity and so I am decided to just go ahead and widen the main track frame and place the servo inside the C-channel now I've got some options here on how to narrow the C-channel down. The first is these standoffs that I have right here are two inch standoffs and I can lower them down, cut them, narrow it down. Uh, I could also cut this C-channel, cut the back of the C-channel out and stick the servo through there. That's a little bit difficult cut to make. So I think about as narrow as I can get is to move the standoffs down so I can snug that motor right up into the C channel. Now that's going to make wiring a little bit more difficult and uh, the overall benefit don't know whether it's going to be worth it or not but so far it's looking pretty good. Um, some of these spacings right in here those those are going to be cleaned up a little bit but as you can see this gear is attached to this frame member right here with two screws I simply drilled out the center portion of this gear to allow the main axle to turn freely within the gear and then I attached the gear itself to this outer, outer frame of the flipper 
track with two screws. The track itself, once it's run in, is uh, going to look something like that. And then when it flips up for the additional maneuverability and traction, it just simply flips over. Oops. Like that. And then it comes back. And this gear right here is going to have to be glued in. Tolerance is just too tight to get a screw or a collar in. So, this is the first night's work. A couple of hours, several different iterations, but um, I think the Vex robot modeled after the iRobot tactical uh, model is coming along. And uh, we're going to magnetize all this track right here. Hopefully, this robot will have just some very, very unique features, be able to climb virtually any surface, I hope, any metallic surface, any, any transitions, any obstacles, be able to maneuver over it. But that's yet to be seen. We've got a lot of work to do. It's a good place to end up for the evening. And uh, we will continue this evolution of MagBot M3.